Well, oh, the, the song ended quite abruptly. Apologies for that. So I had to unmute because uh, the, the song ended quite abruptly. <laughs> All right. Hello, my little subjects. I am Prince Thunderflare. And I am his wife, Doodlebug. And this is uh, Married Couple Plays. Currently, we are, we are going to be... Ah, this microphone is... Uh, not the best, but uh, it gets the job done. It's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit of a difficult workaround, but you know, some you know, little things here and there that make things difficult. But anyway, we are on uh, a play. We're going to be playing Ace Attorney. We're going to be continuing Ace Attorney. Yes. When we last left off, we had the first day of the trial, and we met Manfred von Karma. Who I gave a mad scientist voice for some reason. Some reason. Yeah, he is like the most annoying guy. Oh yeah, he objected to absolutely everything we did. Are we ever gonna know who shot the man on the boat? Was it himself? Was it actually Edgeworth? We don't know. We're gonna find out. Was it the butler? It probably was. No, I think the butler was on holiday. Uh... Oh, uh, yeah, it was Christmas after all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, at this time, I'm gonna make sure that I got the gate I get the game capture. Made that mistake once. Good Lord, that was embarrassing. Uh -oh. That's gonna yeah, I told you there was a slight problem with it. that set of headphones. yeah, That's why you I kind of need it. Hey That's guys, if you need... want to donate to us, you could use a new pair of headphones. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me... It uh... would be very much appreciated. <laughs> I, mean, I feel weird asking it. Um, yeah. It's, sorry, it's like that. Do you want to switch headphones or... No, uh, I'll be fine. Alright. All right, let us continue. The turning about goodbyes. Thankfully, we probably, thankfully, I mean, the chances of running into Von Karma outside the courtroom is slim, <laughs> so it probably won't destroy my voice. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, Nick, it's you. Like a wait, little closer. Wait, wait, why is she in the detention center? She was. She was removed uh, from yeah, court because she... of court. That's yeah, right. She uh, spoke out of turn. But uh, that really helped us because that got... That forced Lana to uh, say something new about her testimony, which uh, led us to continue cross-examining her and find out she was full of shit. <laughs> 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 what a witness in this game that doesn't... That isn't at all honest? Who would have guessed? <laughs> I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay? It's a relief. Hey. Why'd you do that, anyway? Let's see. I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. Lipsies. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Uh, okay. Alright. Let's talk. Question. Have you been questioned yet? No. Not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. <laughs> wow, your Gumshoe impression needs work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, how, how much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. That's, that's not how it works. <laughs> Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? <laughs> because that's what the word bail does to you. Alright. Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. 
It's like, sorry, sister, I'm on a ghost date <laughs> with Casper, and he's so cute. <laughs> I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. He's... I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Uh, sounds like she really did her best. I should check there and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. <sighs> oh, come make it waterfalls. <laughs> Somehow slip by the copyright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Oh, ah, God damn it! Stop it. <sighs> yeah, that that hurts. Okay, I'll shoot you in my bed so it makes you feel better, right? <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> Seven with the badge. <laughs> Alright. Snowing at right in cold law of history, so... Uh... Head back Gordon Lake. Okay. There's the entrance. There were fewer, they, they were fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. I hey, might be, I never know. Well, no, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like he's in this area. Alright. See Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with with Kiyase with an accent over the E. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Hey, Detective Gumshoe! Hey, pal! The trial today, eh? Er... Let me please. Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. But you did say Mr. Earthworth, I guess. I just wanted to show how to thank you, you know? Er... Thanks. Give me a can of hash and some coffee. You get a cookie if you get the reference. <laughs> First trial. Detective Gumshoe. Any idea of what strategy Von Karma is playing for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Alright, he said something about that on the trial on the trial today. Oh no! Seven two witnesses! Oh boy. You cannot just skip me! <laughs> I, was no. I was wondering who that witness was. <laughs> er, who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like you, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Uh, confidential, huh? Yeah, but he's he's being honest this time. Gumshoe kind of has an arc going, it, you know. He was, it was very confrontational at first, but now he understands the defense is his enemy. Oh, and, then, and he's trying to be helpful. You realize that, that Phoenix is just as gonna is just as likely to catch the bad guys as he is. <laughs> a little bit more likely since Phoenix is smarter. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ah, Prosecutor Edgeworth. All right, I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Ellipses. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and, became, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes. I'll study with that incident! The 6 incident? Yeah, that's the one. 15 years ago. When he saw his body shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. See it in his eyes. Mm. Aww. Poor baby. I feel, I feel bad for Edgeworth. Too red, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 no, I love Edgeworth. But he is a piece of shit. <laughs> he is... Especially in this game. In this game, he's a massive douchebag. <laughs> Alright. I wanted to talk to you about my Faye. Huh? She's not on bail yet? That's right. I told them to let it go as soon as they had their report written up. 
Man, I don't know what would have happened if the court the courtroom today if it weren't for her. Think I'd get dragged out by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear too. No, not real tears. It was, it was liquid pride. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved. I saw his lip trembling. What? What? Did you take pictures? I want to see this. His lips trembled as Venus got close. <laughs> they were a few inches gonna, away from each other. I mean, we could just read. I mean, we could just read Phoenix right fanfic shit after. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth. He was really grateful for what you did, you know. I gotta head back to the station. I gotta report on my. Bye, ya, and get her out of there as soon as I can. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail gonna be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting a whole amount. What? Wow. Oh, yeah, the Edgeworth is loaded. <laughs> what? Edgeworth. My love. <laughs> Jinx! Then. Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't well don't forget to pick her up, okay? I will. Might get me a moment's peace. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent too. <laughs> I mean, you're his lawyer, he's going to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, I don't think there's anything going on here. I think we we're just supposed to be. Right, let's see. Anything by the rental shop? Uh. There's a book rental shop. It's close today too. Get <clears throat> no business. No business, like no business. Hmm. Okay. Should we go to the detention center? Maybe, maybe I will be out. Okay. Ah. Oh. Hey, Nick, you finally came. Yes, I came because I thought of Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> they just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. It's like, yay, I'm free! She just slaps the guy. <laughs> See you later, loser! <laughs> free at last. Uh, free, free, I'm um, free at last. I had to change one of the notes. <laughs> you know, gotta be careful. <laughs> Those interrogators were really mean. They're like, where were you on the night of the 31st? It's the 26th! <laughs> oh, ugly story. <laughs> they were like, okay, what did you do this time? <laughs> Don't make it happen of it, Maya. <laughs> like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, well, they let you out at the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. But he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? Oh, right. <clears throat> I didn't want her to know. <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it now. Jesus. I told you that in confidence. <laughs> Gumps you. <laughs> what the to, hell? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. You could also make up to him by uh, paying for a romantic dinner between the two of me and him. <laughs> I bet it goes on to the bedroom. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely where he's going. <laughs> uh, what do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking in the clues department. Uh, alright, alright. I'll, 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 I'll find Blue. <laughs> She's good at clues. <laughs> Blue's <laughs> clues, but it's... can look for Gordy. <laughs> what? Goddamn. I'm, I'm just thinking of Blue's clues, but it's a murder mystery. <laughs> God. 
<laughs> Ellipses. I, I was kidding. Still, if there are clues out there, the park is a good bet. Is as good a bet as any. We say, shall we so head down there? Sure. Or bro, what is it, Blue? Someone murdered Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. <laughs> what? How could they? How could you know they? who did it? Can you tell us who? Oh, we'll use Blue's clues to figure <laughs> out who murdered Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm. You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. Have you noticed anything about the case? <laughs> well, not much more than that, no. He's probably still upset about Pia. I should leave her alone. Yeah. So, All right. you think we should go to the park? That's what he was saying. And we weren't gonna find much stuff at the criminal's first department of Red Cool Law Sciences. I don't think you wanna go to Grossberg's. Uh, <laughs> definitely not. Not unless we absolutely have to. And this is the right place to go. Mm hmm. <sighs> oh, excuse me. There aren't many cops around here today, are there? Ooh, that's great that I don't have to hide the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably back at the precinct, working out the, the case against it. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Oh, God. I... Hey, hey, it's Lada! Y'all really did it today. Well, thanks to you. What did we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. Hey, I did a little thinking, a little- Hey! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Shadow! <laughs> I'm interrupting our stream. He's like, hey, hey, why are you streaming when you can pay attention to me? Hey, why, why are you streaming? He started you? scratching the back of my chair. <laughs> yeah. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Yeah, and Vodkara used that. Absolute piece of shit. Vada. So, you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? You're gonna pay this month's rent? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's talk about today's trial. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd be a witness. Even though I didn't really say anything. <clears throat> I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sure that was fine, Karma. <laughs> oh, yes, you totally saw the whole thing! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I caused you all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, next time? Right. Wait, I mean, next she, time? She realizes she's an ace attorney character, so she's undoubtedly going to be witness to multiple murders. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the first time you witness a murder? <laughs> How about no times? How about that? <laughs> Gordy. What about Gordy? What about Gordy? Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a sitcom? It does a little like bit. Like one of those fake sitcoms that, that they have on like Family Guy or Simpsons. <laughs> Where it's like a normal sitcom but the main character is just this gibbering mouther. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. Ah, yes. Everyone is on edge about whether or not Gordy is real. Not whether or not one of the best prosecutors in the area is going to be sentenced to death. 
I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to start them. Yeah, sure you will. All right, Lada. You go, girl. Don't encourage her. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. It's your spirit made of trading first. God. Making it up. Lada, what do you mean by making it up to us? Are you going to pay for my romantic candlelit dinner with Ezra? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. The rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. <laughs> what? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. Yes, keep quiet! Oh, uh, sorry. W what information? <clears throat> now we're getting to the heart of it. Okay. I think before I get to do I should, I should try to do Van Kamen's voice without being too loud. Is this alright? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay! Now if I get back into it, I, I should be able to get to that right pitch. I apologize for being a little bit loud there. It happens. Okay. See, I reckon we might be able to do it our, do ourselves a little exchange exchange um this is supposed to be making it up to us right i propose a little exchange make it up to you <sighs> ellipses what <laughs> i like to think phoenix has that disappointed dad look <laughs> <laughs> Information don't come cheap, my friend. It'll cost you one dollar. <laughs> uh, hey, I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. Not just you. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. Ah. Uh. I'm just the exception, okay? Oh, God. Well, what'll it be? We getting a deal or not? Well, what do we do, Nick? Uh, we'll have deal to take or no the deal. deal. We'll have to take the... No deal! She <laughs> slams the button. That's the close button. You, you remember that show? I do. Yeah, we'll have to take the deal, I think. Yeah. I don't have any other leads, so I think we have a chance. I don't think we have a chance here. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Okay, how much? Huh? Uh, I didn't really think that far ahead. You're completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. <laughs> what? How dare you? Oh. The only fair exchange for information is information. Oh, okay. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? But oh. Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. And by might, I mean definitely. <laughs> then bring me proof that shows he don't. <sighs> I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? <laughs> you see uh, something, y'all come to me first. Got it? Okay. Rat, see y'all later. God damn it. Whoopsies. Hey, Nick. Okay, Nick. Let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean. Gordy, I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? <laughs> Imagine her explaining this to Edgeworth when this is all over. No, it was very important that we look for Gordy for you. <laughs> my god damn, my life was in this stupid boat with all its hands. <laughs> okay, how exactly to search for a make believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. 
Maybe. All right. Well, let's get to the beach. Hey, mm -hmm. that wasn't there before. Mm -hmm. Look at all these flags. There's, there's like, uh, let's see, which ones can I, can you identify? American, Germany, Japan. What? That's Brazil. But Brazil? to be fair, I didn't know Germany. Uh, France. No, it's not France. It's not quite the right cup. Not quite the right shade of blue. I know it's not the right shade of blue for France. Could uh, be meant to be France, because I think their flag is structured like that, but definitely a different color. So the red one's Russia. Yeah, this one's the USSR. That's United Kingdom? Yep. This England? one? England? What? England or Britain? Uh, yeah. But no. Th this this one is Britain. What about this one? I want to say United Kingdom, but I'm probably wrong. The United Kingdom is Britain. Yeah. <laughs> this one's Australia. You know, because these stars are on the Southern Cross. Or they're supposed to be, it's just the stars are not <laughs> not right to like the Southern Cross. Yeah, this one is... Japan. South Korea. So okay. this is Japan. I don't remember these two either. I apologize to the countries of the flags I could not identify. Yeah, but we got, we're able to identify most of them. Sheldon Cooper would be disappointed, especially after his Fun with Flags podcast. <laughs> fun with Flags podcast, god damn it. <laughs> What's that? Steel Samurai, Nick. <laughs> Yo, man. Oh, uh, it's Larry. Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, it was my girl Kiyatsis with an accent over the E's idea. <laughs> can you stop calling her that? I can see her name in the chat box. She doesn't have an accent over the E. <laughs> she was all, if you'd like to put this here, it would be like really cool and I would totally make out with you and have sex with you. <laughs> Still waiting on that part. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow. That's real impressive. She could find those for you. In the trash. <laughs> <laughs> well, she knows a lot of people. And that's just finished now. She got him for free. So she did find him in the trash. Ew. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> right. Oh, but at least we still get this this song. Hear the song again. It bops. Yo, Nick. What happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh? Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Edward's secret weakness? Oh, sure. Maya, Sh shut up. <laughs> sure, it was Phoenix's long black hair. He loved it for some reason. Um, <laughs> he's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. <laughs> Maya, don't be mean. Oh, we got an ad. Yeah, I'm having shorter... I decided to shorten the ads. Because, uh... Oh, I've heard that, uh... Mineral ads will get people to leave the stream. He acts like a little boy. Oh. Okay. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Oh, well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred to schools pretty quickly. Transfer? Right, when the DL6 said it happened, he transferred to Stick Up Your Butt Academy, which explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look like Neri knows about it, though. The 
The big samurai. Hey, Larry. Where did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy? <laughs> I heard that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why is it here? I wasn't here there yesterday. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> the compressor was busted. Mm-hmm. Compressor? Oh, wait. Sorry. Compressor? Yeah, that's the little unit for, by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the steel samurai. Ah, oh, okay. This thing right here. It broke a little while ago, so I set it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you'd inflated it by yourself. Alright, well, let's examine. There's something in this trash. I know it. Trash can is empty. Damn it. <laughs> Does it. Doesn't that steel samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. Yeah. I guess it's good advertising. That's now we true. know why he called them samurai dogs. Ellipses. Something about the steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Hmm. Still a novice, aren't you? Really? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. This is a Chinese knockoff. <laughs> These steel samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. <laughs> What's this machine? That <laughs> that's a compressor. I use it to fill up the balloon in there with air. Huh? Neat. Just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. You had someone repair that compressor on Christmas? You monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take it over the samurai dogs. The original samurai dogs, no less. Hey man, whoever calls their product original first wins. I mean, he's got a point there. <laughs> but yeah, I why don't I add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea! What have I done? <laughs> yes. Phoenix, what have you done? The slags look sadly out of place here. Flapping listlessly back and forth in the cold wind under the cold sky. Stowing on Mount Fuji. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it gives the place a kind of festival atmosphere. It reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. Ellipses. The War of the What? Huh? What? You mean, you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? What the heck is it? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Huh. I guess we were the only ones. Once again, what the heck is it? Hey, Dick. Benches! Let's take a break. Maybe have a dog? I think not. It's too cold to sit and eat hot dogs out here. Wimpy city boy. You should try standing under a freezing waterfall sometime. Not unless Edgeworth is gonna warm me up afterwards. <laughs> 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 huh. I almost didn't see that sign post. Left boat docks, right exit. Okay. There's a few new things. Uh -huh. But that's all we can hear from uh from uh Larry. Yeah, What's from uh Larry. God, God Hey y'all Well, y'all find anything out about Gordy? Um no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It is a little chilly. I... I think I have to sneeze. Whoa! whoa. No, you don't. No sneezing. Ah, oh, shoot! Lipsies. I told y'all no sneezing. 
They have set the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. Sure got one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's nice, but what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. <gasps> oh, that's <Sorry>. you. <laughs> Alright. What happened? I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. Yes, testify, sister! <laughs> that's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Sorry. Bro, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. That got said. I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. Gordy. What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. <laughs> and then. I'll be an interpretive dancer. <laughs> <laughs> what? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet. A UFO. A y UFO? <laughs> Apparently, if I can't get a career making a photo a time around. Huh? You okay, huh? Then that's it. Then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. Alright. Oh, we didn't talk about Gordy. No, we did. Oh, it it's didn't just... show the check mark. Because there's more information we can find. Let's go to the boat rental ship, see if we can find stuff there. And I think we can get more information from Larry. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Oh, the bird on the lake and all. Probably just a little vacation. Taking a little vacation until it blows over. I get it. Uh. Alright. Well, might be able to get more information from Larry if we ask him and show him the Gordy article. Mm-hmm. That's the guy that sent my dogs faster than I can cook him. Do you think Gordy really exists? <laughs> I think someone probably saw something else that they just thought was Gordy. But I'll keep selling samurai dogs until the truth is out. Okay. Damn. Okay, can we get more information? No, unfortunately not. Okay, so we're apparently supposed to go somewhere else. But well, where else do we go? <laughs> Why are you... Why are you putting your fingers there? Why are you, why, why are you tickling me? <laughs> no! This is my stream! Stop! <laughs> okay, let's see it. Let's see about the police, maybe. I might find something out there. Hey there, pal! What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait! You didn't go and do something that got. It's gonna hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean, again? Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. Damn. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, money is what I need most of all. The investigation. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? Oh, wait. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's fire on a died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. Actual word. I said that's why Edgeworth shot him. 
Edward never talks about his past. Well, he I bet they'll... Not. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in a court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. Have some of those? My guess. Gummy worms. The, the size of gummy worms in comparison to gummy bears says a lot of horrifying things about the gummy universe. And the best part is, is these are the Albanese brand gummy worms. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Boy, could be sponsored, huh, Albanese? <laughs> you want to be sponsored by that one but two VTubers? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Alright. Gordy. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Do you know Gordy? Lots of doubt that Gord liked, not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> you got time to go wild monster hunting? How am I doing a grill crossing for me then? Oh. Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. Make him go away. <laughs> I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lana. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. <laughs> You're the one who blabbed. <laughs> er, sorry. <laughs> Ellipses. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Ellipses. Okay. Ah, Detective Gumshoe. Well, Aiden, you're such a guardian. Well, rush that monster. <laughs> uh huh? I'll learn you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Secret weapons. What this gun! <laughs> okay, give us the goods. Hold on now. Everything's everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. This is our best and brightest. And it is a secret weapon number one. Missile. Just a missile comes flying through the room and explodes in the wall. Missile? <laughs> this is Canada Police Dog still driving. Missile, missile, here boy, here boy, I got a treat for you. <gasps> oh wait, I, I got a voice whistle. whistle. Wolf. <laughs> there he is. A cute dog. And this will help us how Phoenix were you born yesterday? <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Next, secret weapon number two. A fishing pole. Here's my own personal pole. <laughs> Man, it's it's a lot shorter than I would have expected. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Gumshoe. We're looking for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to get the whole sea monster with a fishing pole? No, no, tell you a trap, pal. Let's see explanation point. Okay, next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by your choices. <laughs> Secret weapon number three. I'm an old detector. Yeah. Detective comes to you. We're looking for something alive. Right. <laughs> How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, I never know. It might have been eating some kinds. Well, which will it be? Um. I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. Why, what? 
And I can't make up my mind either, for the totally opposite reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. I think... Do pull or the metal detector? Actually, borrowing missile first would probably be a better bet. Okay, let's go with the door. Can we borrow a missile? Yeah, thank you. Be good, dumb. Wolf. <laughs> He's so cute! Arf, arf, bark, bark. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh boy. The yeah, iron missile you is a yeah, yeah, missile brought borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. Alright, and we can probably swap him out for one of the others. Here. Hey, Nick! Huh? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, right. That little creature of the detectives. <laughs> Calls a dog. <laughs> hey, I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Missile? Ellipses. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, 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 yep. Bunch, 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 bunch. Oh, jeez. Why well, stop that thing? It's eating all the samurai dogs. Cannibal. It's not cannibalism. Hot dogs aren't made of dog. Ellipses. My samurai dogs. <laughs> Ow. He ate every single one. I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry. Sorry to pay my bills, Nick. Ha ha ha, it's going to have to this time. <laughs> oh, you're sure it was a good idea to bring the dog? Yep, it made Larry suffer, as he should. <laughs> well, we'll see if there's anything at the bulk rental shop the dog can pick up. Uh... I guess we're getting nothing right now. So maybe you were right. Take a go sheep, I will borrow one of the other things. Oh, yeah, sure, pal. I have to take back the last one I want your department policy. Well, take it back. Which will it be? The metal detector! Can we borrow that metal detector? Good thing now. I'm not sure what we're gonna find with this. Ugh. Eating on stream. I, I, I don't feel like really doing it. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything! Okay. Okay. Can we do something? Larry! Do you know what this is? Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I mean, it's to live hot dogs. Maybe at the beach or the boat house? Okay. Hey, Lotta. Hey, Lotta, look at this. It's a metal detector. I 
I know what it is. Um, I'm not sure that's going to pick up Gordy, though. Unless he's been eating people's watches or spare change or something. Oh. I hadn't thought about that. I could have sent a missile, I guess. Boat rental. <gasps> I was picking up something. The neck. It's beeping. The metal detectors found something. Right, you're holding it over a sewer grate. <laughs> Sure. Sure is loud enough about it. Wherever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? <sighs> Ellipses. Nick! Look! Huh? Air tank. Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Matt, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? Second of all, why would the metal detector react to a monster? Oh. Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Well? We might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Hmm. Oh, well that looks familiar. Wonder if Larry knows anything about this. Wh what? I an air tank? What? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Why do I have it? Would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. <laughs> Ellipses, must be a coincidence. There's strings of flags everywhere these days. Like elementary schools. And used car dealerships. Look, why do I need a tank anyway? To, to inflate, inflate something. something. Used it to inflate that, didn't you? It inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. Exclamation points! Ellipses! Then why would you go ask me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Ellipses. Right, right. Actually, um, see, the compressor I always use was under Fritz. So I tried to use the tank to inflate it just once. And it er, didn't go so well. As I suspected. Ask more. It didn't go so well? I mean, yeah. Did you think it'd be, you could be a little more specific? C come on. Look, it's, it's embarrassing. I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us, tell us. Ipsies. But, whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then, Blam. <laughs> the valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank egg there took off like a rocket. It took my four depleted, four depleted seal samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? I sure, sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. Flying air tank. Um. So the tank and the steel somewhere you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? 
Well, that'll happen on the 20th or so. 20th. A week ago. Sorry, I was chewing something. Now, as far as I could see, Tank was flying out into the lake. So, I went out every night on a boat, looking for it. I mean, Keontae, with an accident over the year, gave me that steel saber after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. It was a Christmas miracle. Look <laughs> at wearing the Santa outfit while he does it. Flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before. The night before last. That was the date of the murder. <gasps> Suffered not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. Yep, I totally killed the guy. Yep, it was me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. Ugh. It's not all bad. We solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Come on, Bob. Put, put the piece together. <laughs> Maybe we should go tell her. Oh, oh, I hate to break the lotta, but Gordy's fake. <laughs> you wasted your goddamn time. Glad to the rat. <laughs> Gordy. <clears throat> well, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, How? sorry. I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? Gordy doesn't exist. Lotta, there is no such thing as Gordy. W what? How can y'all be so sure? Okay, first of all, the amount of food that that thing would need to survive. <laughs> Freaking idiot. <laughs> really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy, Gordy don't exist? Proof Gordy doesn't exist. Is out there somewhere. Is <laughs> <laughs> here. Girls have proof. Oh, well, you're worth this badge. Make a claim without proof to back it up. <laughs> My help. <laughs> Here's proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Uh, I believe it's the air tank. <laughs> Where is air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? But what exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time... A couple was taking a photograph off the lake, of the lake. This photo. Wait, so, saying that Gordy is really the Steel Samurai? No wonder you're, you liked him so much. <laughs> yeah, your entire life's work is a sham. <laughs> well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. Sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info, like I promised. Poor Lotta. Alright, the case information. So tell us this information you have. Promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Ah. Boat rental? 
there's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy, living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lada. We will. Yeah, Alright. Let's get cracking, Nick. <laughs> okay, crack snack. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. <gasps> Ellipses. Yeah, Von Kermit Wait. didn't want that photo used either. Wait, do you have another photo? Well... Yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the lake. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but... Here, take it. There's an empty lake taken automatically on December 24th at 11.50. Suspicious. Suspicious. Bye now. Y'all take care. Bye. I hope to never see you again. <laughs> Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lada. It's all Larry's fault. Ah, yeah, feels good to blame Larry for something. <laughs> <laughs> Legend still is on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butt. <laughs> it's snowing on Mount Fuji. <laughs> I'm still working on the limerick. <laughs> hmm. Someone should whip that butt some cheek. I mean, it seems like Kiyasi is trying. <laughs> <laughs> hey Larry, I talked shit to it about you. Sit <laughs> here to Lana. Hope you don't mind. Bye. All right. All right, Buster Brown. Time to talk. Hey Nick. This is the boat shop that Lana was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Okay. Old boat rid of stuff. Doesn't look like anyone is around. Oh, it closed because of the murder. More forest stuff that way. Doubt I'll find any helpful clues in there. There's some boats floating at the dock. Murder took place in a boat from the dock. Apparently the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed, there's a space for one more boat at the dock. What do I need to do? To look around, but there's nothing else to look around at. Hold on, let me double check. Hey, Richard. Uh, window? The window? Yeah, but that's already checked, so... Uh -huh. Alright. Here, take your check! Oh! Oh! I just realized that was there. <laughs> it allowed me to enter. Hey, it didn't specify. Oh, it's a carrot! Yeah. Wait, 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 Meg, is that you? <laughs> is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? Everyone's sick. Ellipses. Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this up to you, Maya. Big. Y yes. Uh, finally made up your mind, have you? But my mind? 
Yo, run the pasta shop when I'm gone. The pasta? <clears throat> I'm glad you're glad you you will make your old man proud. Uh, you like salt water taffy. <laughs> when you kids at the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running as an old man like me? <laughs> Polly, the kids are home. Hello, hello. <laughs> Parrot, the one on that perch. Keith! Y yes. I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. He, he goes over to shake his hand, and his hand is just like one of those prosthetic wooden hands. That <laughs> oh, just comes off. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Nick? What's the wet noodle? <laughs> Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. Oh, I thought it was a sex move. <laughs> <laughs> That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello. <laughs> yep. Uh, ellipses. <laughs> yeah, this guy is out of his mind. <laughs> Fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Man, it's gonna be a shame to crush his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny, he doesn't look like the tub who keeps things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Oh, right. Oh, I see poo on the paper. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Collapses. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Collapses. It ignored me. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, you forget, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Bali, how you been? To the court record, yeah, yeah. Phoenix just takes it right off the perch and pour, shoves it in his pocket. <laughs> erstwhile, I've never heard that word been used before. The erstwhile companion of a boat shop character. What does that word even mean? I feel like looking that up. Erstwhile, probably something like Wiley. Erstwhile, former. What? <laughs> ah, oh, ow. You said that parrot's gonna abandon him? No, Polly would never do that. That would be totally out of character. <laughs> Too bad all she can say is hello. Probably not. <laughs> oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. <laughs> oh, boy. The secret words? Ooh. Oh, so we can... Holly! Holly! What's your name? Holly! Rawr! <laughs> Shoot! Well, I found a new friend. Okay. Look, Nick. He has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. Yeah, Katatsu. That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We could sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. And what? Talk about murders? Ah, oh, God, shut up, Maya. <laughs> Your ideas are all garbage. <laughs> Aw, you're a party pooper, Nick. Somebody has to party it, has to poop on the party. Every party needs a pooper, that it's you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's lots of various fish in Gort Lake, aren't there? 
Lipsy's question? Nothing's funny, Nick. All these fish are salt water. <laughs> this guy's got diagrams of saltwater fish. <laughs> Why saltwater even... fish? I don't know. I guess it's a saltwater lake. No, it's a this. This is a freshwater lake. It's just that the the, 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 the the what they're getting at is this guy's absolutely insane. It doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> a fishing pole looks expensive. There's got to be something in the oh, trash. He has a television in here too. What? Why are you paying attention to the television, Maya? There's obviously a clue in the trash. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Look, a little safe. Hmm. Wait, safes keep things safe. Oh my God, I just got that. Ellipses. <laughs> <laughs> it's locked. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> This is a functional purpose of a safe. <laughs> Alright. Um, is that a bag next to the jimple? What? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I think that's all That's all we can examine right now. But let's, uh, let's talk to the crazy dude. Okay, mm -hmm. the pasta restaurant. <laughs> um, a pasta shop? Yep, the thing the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know, so it makes you two the third generation. Meg! Y yes Tomorrow, we'll start the secrets of dough tossing. <laughs> dough tossing? You too, Keith. Y y yes You'll be the best pasta regular in the West has ever seen. This guy is nuts. <laughs> but pasta regular? The West? Is it pasta from Italy? I mean, there are some questions about that. Some people say it was originated from Asia. <laughs> Ming! Yeah, I gotta y knock your yes. block off. But that would be assault. <laughs> <laughs> You know the best pasta has always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? No, no, dude, that is completely wrong. <laughs> right, of course, everyone does that. <laughs> Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep this all in the family, Sherrod? Tell me this episode of Three's a Company is over. Told <laughs> 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 so, man must have something about the murder. Not leaving until we find out what that is. Boat rental shop. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking, man? This is a place of pasta, the wind doodle. Not any mention Got many orders. I haven't got many orders since spaghetti lately. Uh, all the kids come up, her, up and say, "Yo, dude, we we'll say, hey, yo, dude, we want to ride in one of the boats." That's why I keep the boats out there. You like to see this? Judge if I understand. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. But this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. No. <laughs> yes, we just that is my final answer. Mac, weather has gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Holly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Ah! <laughs> oh, right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will you? <laughs> See, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. 
And, cr and a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. Are that an accessory? Oh yes, I have to present him with this. Oh jeez. I don't think he very much cares. <laughs> what are you gonna do with the umbrella? <laughs> Ellipsis. It's a lawyer's badge. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. <laughs> 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 this is why you do it. <laughs> because I, I, every once in a while there's going to be someone who does it. There's a lot of great reactions. Ellipsis. Yeah, I get it. Huh? Hey, uh, I get you figured out now. You're yeah, not Keith! Ellipses. Uh, Nick! How's your chance to clear things up? Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. Hm, and I'm not Meg either. Ellipses. Hey, We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please, help us! Ellipses! Uh, 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 uh. Please, mister. Uh, I tell him, but on one condition. What's that? When the case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle! <laughs> Promise to run the wet noodle! God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay, we promise. Hey, Nick! Are you sure about this? He's clearly not actually running a noodle shop. <laughs> hey, anything to get this case solved. Sorry, Edgeworth, I can't be your defense attorney anymore. I got a noodle shop to run. <laughs> also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? <laughs> <laughs> Copyright that dude. <laughs> Sue anyone who uses it. <laughs> I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. <sighs> Wait, didn't I just say you too big? Y yes. <laughs> you bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Yo, no, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello, hello. Ah! Uh. Now he's talking to the bird again. How would you get him to talk to us? All right. Let's see if I can present anything else that might be useful. Let's see. Newspaper. Yeah. You know about Gordy? Yep. Huh. Well, that wasn't useful. Polly, here's my only friend in the whole world. She's the only one who understands me. Well, I can hate you! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right, Polly? Hello, hello. <laughs> yep. Okay, I Polly. guess that's all we're gonna get out of him for now. Probably. I can't think of anything we can present to her. Either. Okay. But yeah, I was actually looking forward to what to get to, because I know what a fucking wacky baggy dude he is. <laughs> ah. This song pops so bad. It's a good like? Nah. Okay, let's go to the entrance. I guess we can, uh... Let's go to the offices. Uh, fresh air. I gotta say, freedom feels great. Maybe you're safe. Maybe yourself in the courtroom tomorrow, okay? <laughs> this behaving's much more fun. It's not gonna be much fun with Edgeworth refused to pay. Oh, oh, oh. 
it's not going to be so much fun when Edgeworld refuses to pay her bail again. Ellipses. Right, I'll behave. Oh dear. Alright, what to do? What should we do? I don't know. I've been in detention this whole time. I think I'll let you decide what we... Deal? Any ideas? Any thoughts you want to share? As indeed... Detention all day. I think I'd like more time to think. Poor my She probably thought about me the whole time maybe she was in there. Well, that didn't help. Okay. Okay, uh, detention center? Maybe? Maybe we need to talk to Edgeworth? There we go. Alright, uh, yeah, if we can get some information. Looks like Edgeworth is in questioning. Let's come back later. Guess so. Damn it. Uh... Criminal affairs? Ah! This is where we need to go, it looks like. Oh, take your own fuse in here. Damn it! Now that you mention it, didn't he say he had a meeting to go to? Ah, that's right. Let's come back to later. Oh, I guess this metal detector stays with me. Alright. Uh. Uh, no, wrong. I guess we'll have to go. Uh, to Grossberg's. Apparently, Mr. Grossberg is on vacation today. I guess I could come back tomorrow if I need anything. Elegant. Alright. Is there anything? I guess Mr. Grossberg isn't getting that pain back. I feel kind of bad for him. Kinda. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. I'm funny, don't look like they've even been read. Hmm. All mahogany desks, which would pause to a deep lesser. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh. We've been everywhere. You knew we... No. Okay, so we missed something at the boat rental shop we were supposed to do. Let's see. Uh... Okay. Mm. Let's see. More to talk about, so I guess I'll try to present him with some stuff. Last camera. I can... Ellipses. <laughs> I'll sleep. <laughs> Okay. Well. Okay. All right. Look away, I'm gonna look up a guide. Alright, just, 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 get to, uh, um. okay. Okay. I got it. Uh, 
Okay. This is it. Yeah, I've seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith! Yes? It's okay. You can call me dead. Oopsies. Dad. You know something about this? Yep, the other night out on the lake. Yes, yes? I know all about that. I've seen it. What? Tell us, tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. Okay, finally. What you saw? I forgot the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably name Yep. It's after midnight, but okay. Then I heard a bang. So I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang! Oh, well, well, this boat comes in. A young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. Yeah. What did he say? What oh, wait. Is... What did he say? Ellipses. Yep. Ellipses. I forgot. Oh, I'm going to be by court time. Promise. You need to know earlier than that. Yeah. You, you know what? Eh? Little Terry was just here. Terry? You have the kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing that tattered little coat. He got himself whiskers going out of his face. Must be talking about Dick Tech the Gumshoe. He comes out and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Well, I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Well, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait. I had one more question. Huh? Holly, Holly, have we forgotten something? <clears throat> Don't forget DL6. Huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. <clears throat> Don't forget DL6! Rah! What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister. I mean... Dad. <laughs> Why, well, yes, Mickey Mouse, I will sign that contract. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? How would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who, who that old man is. Oh. What? They locked the door from the other side. Lipsies. Who could that old man be? Gosh, could he really be my dad? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. All right. Now the game has properly getting us to telling us what we're supposed to do. Oh my Instead god. Instead of being esoteric. Thank god, I was I was zoning in and out there for a minute. Yeah, I could tell. It got kind of boring. Uh, uh. Hey, pal, a long time no see. Ellipses. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? I actually wanted to ask you something. Yeah? A boat caretaker. You know the boat rental shop at Gord Lake? Oh, yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? How do you... Oh, I'm supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Ellipses? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to say Dan testifying as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lana Hart yesterday. As for who he is, 
I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. That's suspicious. Huh. The DL6 incident. Take the gumshoe, please help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. The ellipses? That's when Edward's father died. Oh, that was when Edward's father died. Sorry, got the wrong character. Can't, can't help but thinking that it has something to do with the current case. Ellipses. Tell the truth. I don't know much about the DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading that file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the TS6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, p the parrot. What's that? A parrot? Still man about Riddle Shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident? DL6. What? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Don't forget DL6! What? Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? N nick You think he might be? Ellipses. Ellipses. I get ya. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through the station... Station's records room. I'll get a special ransom and I'll go in and find what you need. Alright, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, let me run free into your records room. That doesn't sound like a security risk. <laughs> 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 okay, Nick, to the records room. I guess it's time we face Edward's pass. But oh, first, boy. I gotta go into the menu, into the records room. Ooh, very tidy. Wow, it's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine, ten years old. Almost through its fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of the DL6. Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Alright. There you go, Maya. Case summary. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts. Like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. Found it! Here you go. December 28th. 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. On two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator at the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Uh, probably why Edgeworth is afraid of earthquakes. Oh. Which is it with the trauma, this trauma. Part of the court building collapsed and all the lights went out. Oh. Yeah, that'd be terrifying to anyone. Wow, that was some earthquake. Ooh. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. That would be scary like that. In the dark. Oh. There was lack of oxygen in the uh, elevator. So the survivors were unconscious. 
survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Mother, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. Miles Hedgeworth, one of the other masters at Elevator. Oh. Victim data. Do you have any data on the victim, Hedgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Um, here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got into the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Yeah. Yeah, the fox from Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, of course. He was in the elevator with his father. Yep. <clears throat> From the angle of the bullet, another evidence, it could not have been suicide. That is YouTube! <laughs> the murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh? That's just like the current case. What's going on here? That's pretty weird. Alright, suspect data. <laughs> Got any data on the suspect in there? Hmm. That would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on. This is it. <clears throat> the man arrested as a suspect in the DLC was Yadi Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. He must have been the third person in the Oh. That's So he must have been the third person in the Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. The victim in our case. Right. Suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much that he had brain damage. Lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, disappeared. Hmm. Where did Yogi have gone to? I don't know. Maybe to Yellowstone? To <laughs> steal some picnic baskets? <laughs> we closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in 6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. Yeah, you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? DL6 file, file added to the court record. Right. Probably all we'll be able to find here. All that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do for testifying in court. Oh my god, so finally things are going to start to get interesting. <sighs> Alright. Saving content. Oh my god, the back and forth is so boring. Yeah, I know. Let's finally start this trial. Alright. Get our brain juices pumping. Oh. Okay. December 27th. This is cool. Bravo, 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 bravo. Not for judge again. <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Ellipses. Ellipses. Very well. Apparently, the prosecution is also ready. Who's the judge here, anyway? Mr. Von Karmer, your opening statement. Ellipses. Ellipses. Er, very well. No opening statements, so... Not so fast, Judge. I was... I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. R right. 
Of course. A prediction. To this trial will end in three minutes from now. Rubber, 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 rubber. Mm -hmm. Order, order. Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? This isn't a time trial now, is it? <laughs> bah! Must your question as to everything? It will be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. There better not be a timer. I call my fitness now. R right. Call my fitness my decisive witness to the sand. Mysterious boat shop owner. Fitness, state your profession. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 proprietor of the restaurant, the wet noodle, good lick. Ellipses. And, uh, that's a bit bit. <laughs> See, that is the incident you were to approach the disappointment. Uh, yep, yep, that was. Please testify. A second. I don't heard who this old guy is. Raise an objection. Wait a minute. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Because I did not ask him to fight. Bah! Ugh. I have predicted this trial for ended sea minutes. Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. Oh yeah, my god, right. this guy is annoying. <laughs> the witness will state his name. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not very really sure yet. What do you mean? Uh, my uh, memory. Your Honor, the witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. I'll go, he cannot recall his own name. Hmm, he can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. Very well. Let's hear his testimony then, shall we, witness? Okay. What kind of testimony is there gonna be? <laughs> Yeah, it was the, it was the night of the 24th, she said to me that, yep. I was in the restaurant where I uh, rent boats as usual. Then I heard a bang, yep. Well, I looked at the window, I saw a boat just uh, floating in the lake. And then I heard another bang. Just about then the boat came to shore and a man walks by my window. Hmm. Very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. There is nothing to question in my fitness system some money. I've got no need for cross-examination. Oh. Besides, there are only 10 seconds left before our three minutes are up. Shit, you're ready. No! Er, uh, yes. M Mr. Wright? Cross-examine. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Von Karma. <laughs> what are you saying? Of course I'll cross-examine the fitness. I mean witness. <laughs> hmm. Very well. You may begin. Drag! Uh, excuse me, Mr. Von Karma? <laughs> Sorry, you mean it's just passed. <laughs> I see. Well then, let's just take our time. <laughs> oh god, it's Von Karma. <laughs> You may cross-examine your witness. <laughs> it's too much crazy for this room. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he really is. Okay. What do I press him on? Oh, I'll just... Yes, such a midnight, you say? Yep, around then. Are you sure? Pretty sure, yep. And talk to your essay. Or yesterday, you were rather vague about the time. I to seem sure about it today. Oopsies. I asked him and he remembered. Isn't that right? 
<laughs> Don't glare me like that. Yeah, remember clearly I did. Yep. You see, continue. Uh, do I press on this? Uh, Is there anyone who could verify that? Ian Ipsy's. Well, I guess Polly could. That's not a good enough for a court of law. <laughs> yeah, what idiot would take the word of a parrot in a court of law? <laughs> That's called uh, foreshadowing. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Wright, exactly what's not good enough? Uh, Your Honor, this Polly is a parrot. A parrot? Don't be so hard on the go, Keithy boy. Are you... The prosecution concedes that we cannot prove the fitness was at the shop. Fitness, please continue. Okay. Where does Bang seem to come from? From your ass! From the lake, I figure. Are you certain? Yep. Good. Continue. I saw a boat just floating on the lake. Was there someone in the boat? Yep. Yeah. It was pretty far out there. I couldn't see clearly. I figured there was two men out there. Yep. But you couldn't see them clearly? You don't clearly. Yep. At the time it is. At the time. Huh. Then I heard another bang. We heard two gunshots total. Yep. So Elias said in her testimony last yesterday. Just about then the boat came back to shore and a man walks by my window. By your window? Yep, by my window. Right outside the window of my little shack. And can you see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty damn thick, but he was right there in front of me. I saw him. This is a rather important... This is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. Ellipses. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. The man was offended. He said, I can't believe he's dead. Oh, yeah. Are you, you sure? Ellipses. Uh oh. Dad? <laughs> Dead certain Keith. He, he said, I can't believe he's dead, as he was walking by, too. Fitness, are you sure the person you said was Files and what? It was him that it was boy. <laughs> this sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. God, on karma. You lured me into the cross examination so you could set me up for a fall. <laughs> Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. I better act quick or this is going to be over. Oh, There's dear. an objection. Your Honor, hmm? proved to yesterday's child could not have been an expert who fired that gun. Mr. Fight! Are you referring to the fingerprints that it was the right hand being found on the gun? And the photographs showing the man f firing with his left hand? Exactly. That is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints off after he fired. Stay awake, stay awake, I'm trying to tell you to stay awake. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you tickle yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are knowing the truth of the matter here. 
everything in the witness's testimony is true. Hmm. Judge has lost a thought. What should I do? Raise an objection. Keep going. Your Honor. This witness claims that Edward said, I can't believe he's dead. But his words are all we have. If you were telling a lie. Mr. Fight! In a court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently, you are to realize that because of fact. If you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Look. Look, do we have evidence? It's not good. There's nothing I can do. Oh no! Uh, are you sure? Honest. I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please. I need your help. Nick needs you. <laughs> Three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. However, fifteen minutes isn't bad. This must be a door record. Enough. The witness may leave the stand. No. <laughs> I'd say he's pretty much left already. The bail <laughs> the bailiff drags him out by his leg. <laughs> <laughs> this like, court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. <laughs> <I'm a little> <laughs> <tugboat>. <laughs> Nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. Oh no. The case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. No! What? No! <laughs> no! This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Guilty. No! The accused will surrender to the court immediately be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. No! Wait! Who, who was that just now? Me! Huh? What? Larry? Larry? Well, what are you doing here? Listen. You gotta listen to me. Okay. I, I was, I was there at the park, the middle of murder. I, I wasn't sure about it until just yesterday. But then I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot. I heard it too. Rabble, 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 rabble. The uh, order. What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided. I call for an adjournment. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So, you say you heard a gunshot? Y yeah, I did. A gunshot that night. I was sitting here in the audience listening to the testimony. Then I realized something he said was different from what I remember. Actionable phrase. <laughs> anyway, I can't just sit here and let you call Edgy a murder. murderer. It's just not right. Let's try... I'll testify! Let me testify! Testify! <laughs> order! Order! Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Judge! You're finally giving your decision! This trial is over! Nick! This is it! Laura's given us one final chance at this! She's right. If only it wasn't Larry. It could make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick. It doesn't get any worse. You're right. Okay. Your Honor, if there is another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. Right here, right now. A face of time! The verdict cannot be overturned. Hmm. Ellipsy. Allow me to speak my opinion. In all court proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. What is this? 
I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. Mm -hmm. Mr. Von Karma, I order you to call this new witness to testify. Now! Oh. Fuck! The court will adjourn for a five minute recess. After that, we will hear this new witness. <laughs> uh, yeah, Larry's saving the day. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Make by every one of these mm. days of just caught the court by the skin of our teeth in this trial. This trial has oh. sure been something, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was too close. How do you keep on the edge of your seat like that, Edgeworth? Hmm. <laughs> I've seen worse. You're right, Edgeworth. You're sweating bullets. I just wonder what Larry plans to say there. Larry was at the lake that night? Yes. He said he went looking for the seal samurai blue that flew into the lake. Oh, right. And he found the balloon in the air tank that night? Yeah. Ellipses. Hey, Edward. Ellipses. Huh? Did you say something right? Yeah, a lot of things. You seem out of it. What's wrong? You can tell me everything, anything, Edgeworth. I don't know. This is too personal, too secret. I can't let you get involved. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's nothing. Hmm. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Oh. <sighs> when he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. I couldn't understand what had just happened. I couldn't think straight. Then I saw the pistol lying on the floor of the boat in front of me. Picked it up without thinking. I didn't have a reason, really. I see. Right. Yeah? This might be our chance. Our chance? Von Karma has only ever had perfect trials. Perfect trials? Perfectly prepared witnesses, perfectly complete evidence. That's the secret to success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. Can't get much more unexpected than Larry. <laughs> <laughs> but, he has you gotta, to. but you gotta remember, nobody inspects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> he has to let someone he, he has to let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. That someone is Larry. What are you getting at? It's likely his testimony will be full of holes, right? I mean, you know Larry, he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's right, Nick. No ten minute trial this time. We'll milk this one for all it's worth. And there's a lot of milk to be had from Larry. <laughs> Frickin' law cow. It was fifteen minutes. Fifteen. Everything's on Larry now. Oh, good lord. Okay. Court is now back in session. And whoever decided to leave something on the swing, I am going to talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Witness. Please testify to the court about everything that you saw. On the night of December 24th, Christmas Eve. Red, leave it to me. Please, Larry, don't mess this one up. I hate to admit it, but you're a last chance. Ellipses. My karma didn't even have time to prep his witness. I just hope Redworth is right about be this being our big break. Oh, boy. That night, I was out on a boat and on the lake. I was looking for something I found it. So I quietly slipped the boat back at the rental shop dock. Then just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. 
Looked over the lake and didn't see a boat, so after I heard a single gunshot, I went home. Okay, not particularly good, but we can get mm. it's something we can work with. Something's up. Mm. Gotta mm. figure out. Oh, that was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. <sighs> Thank oh. you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you all right? I'm good. I okay. had water in my mouth. I was drinking. Okay, okay, okay. In any case, in, Mr. In any White, case, you may be... Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Oh, excuse me. I had something in my throat. <laughs> <coughs> yes, Your Honor. Wrong, Nick. Larry. I have no idea what I was going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. Hmm. Well... You've come this far. No way to go but forward, Nick. All right, Larry. Let's get this. Let's get this party started. Get it started, huh? Let's get it started in here. Ellipses. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? There are so many things wrong. I don't know where to begin. Oh. Uh. Um, well, okay. First of all, what time was it? Oh, it was after 11 when I went down to, out on the boat. By the time everyone had gone home, by that time, everyone had gone home for the night. So I waited until the coast was clear, so to speak. And while you're out on... A <coughs> and a burp. Ugh. Why were you out on a boat at such a late hour? Yeah, that just... Everything Looking for something? Or, yeah. Mr. Butts, was, what was it you were looking for? But the witness for searching for is irrelevant! Most likely he was hunting for Gordy. Ugh. That's surprisingly close to the truth in this sense. Yeah. This is irrelevant. Let's get this over with. Okay. Around what time was that? Oh, well, let's... Yeah, well, let's see. I, I figure I was, ser I was searching for about an hour. I guess it was around 12, yeah. You're not sure? Hey, don't give me that face. I'm not some sort of human sundial, okay? If we use watches these days, Larry. <laughs> Larry is sure something. Where did the sound come from? Yo, I wasn't too sure about that. I looked around, you know. Did you look at the lake? Yeah, I looked. Hi. Wasn't there a boat on the lake? Rubble, 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 rubble. Oh, fly? Yeah. Or maybe a gnat. I think it was a gnat. Order! Order! Well, Mr. Butts. Whoa, whoa. Everybody just calm down, okay? I mean, it was real foggy that night. I'm not sure whether there was a boat out there or not. Okay, no problem. That's just the most important part of this case. Huh. <laughs> After I heard the sea. So you only heard one bang, correct? Yeah. Huh. Well, Nick? Hmm. It was pretty wishy-washy testimony, wasn't it? This is to just start working on the contradictions. Oh, hello, Leon. Thank you for joining us. Hey. As you can see, we're playing Ace Attorney, trying to figure out, uh, who killed this guy, Robert Cameron. <laughs> definitely wasn't Edgeworth, our defendant. <laughs> no, it was not. Sorry. I wish I could be more helpful. I could call my sister. I and as you could probably tell, we're voice acting everyone and doing an, uh, I'd say, a decent job. Neither Oops. of us are professionals, but we're having fun. Okay. Alright. The single gunshot. So. We gotta uh, put
present the gun, I believe, because it says there was fired three times. I think that. Nope. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Ellipses. I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. <laughs> Dang it. Unfortunately, I will have to penalize you. Dang it. Ugh. All right. First, let's save before we keep experimenting. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Look that over the lake, but I didn't see a boat. Hmm. Is it this? <laughs> ah. And please, no spoilers. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. As this is our first time playing the game together. Uh, okay, that night was on, but... This is the thing that I heard this bag. Huh. Oh, they're pretty interesting. Oh, I think I know. Basically, it's like a strategy game. Yeah. Where you, as you can see, you have a trial trying to figure out if someone is innocent or guilty. Yeah. Well, you're, you're representing a defendant, so of course your client is not guilty. Wait a sec, Larry. I had to present a lot of statement. Not the actual physical evidence that can't lie. No, the obviously untrustworthy witness we had last time. <laughs> what? You only heard one bang? You're sure? That's what I said. But Miss Lana Hart testified yesterday that she heard two bangs. The old man just now said the same thing. We both heard two gunshots that night. Huh? Were you even listening? Are you paying attention to all of what they said? Yo, Nick, please! Huh? You know, something's been bothering me. I'm a witness, you see. I'm like a customer, yeah? Yeah, and Larry <laughs> is something. <laughs> so you should treat me nicer and stuff, okay? <laughs> what, are you gonna care it and ask to see my manager? Because my manager's dead. And my apparently can't do a seance to call her yet. <laughs> Mr. Butts. What? You only heard one gunshot? Are you sure? Ellipses. Um. Well, I'll tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Eh? Not sure? How can you not be sure? God damn it, Larry. <laughs> Why is Phoenix friends with him? Yeah, well, I uh, might have missed the other gunshot. I was uh, listening to something else. Something else? My radio dude. With my headphones. I'm a uh, rock man. Uh, <laughs> what? Cover up, cover. God damn it, Larry. Order! Order! And stop that booing! <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist, the booing was from Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Butts, you were listening to the radio with your headphones? Yeah, so what? Is that a crime? I listen to the radio. Everyone listens to the radio. What's the big deal? Hmm. Mr. Von Karma, your opinion? A waste of time. I do not accept his fitness, nor his shoddy testimony. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, did he continue the testimony? Continue, yes. Your Honor, please, please allow the witness to continue his testimony. Bah! 
Nothing is more pitiful than a lawyer who doesn't know when, he, when he's lost. Very well, Mr. Butts. Please give your testimony. And be sure to include details like your radio. Right, leave it to me. Uh, I wonder if there were any other ways uh, out of this, believe me. But okay. Lady Heard. Oh boy. It's lonely being alone on Christmas Eve. That's why I was listening to all requests you have on the radio, see. I was listening to a real booming loud like. I'm sure I heard that gunshot. I remember exactly what the DJ said when I heard it too. You were listening to your radio? At a high volume? You know how dangerous that is? You ruin your hearing! What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the big problem? Can't even listen to this radio in peace. This is a, isn't this a free country? I thought this was America. This is Japan, sir. <laughs> Larry just goes on a huge speech about America, and American flag starts fading in from the background. <laughs> <laughs> I truly believe Larry has no idea what the problem is. <laughs> Judge. Can you believe a word this witness says? What we heard is probably nothing more than the drum beat of a radio. Huh. True enough, it, does, it is difficult to believe this testimony. I have no idea what that is, Leon, but I hope you do have fun. Uh, wait, Your Honor. Witness says he remembers exactly what Diaz said when he heard the gunshot. Excuse me? DJ? An announcer. The guy who says things on the radio. Anyway. What this means is, when he heard the sound, no music was playing. The DJ only talks between songs, so he could have heard the gunshot from the lake. I'd like to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Wright. I can't believe I'm continuing this charade. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is going to make it all different. Uh, I don't need to press him on that. Except to mock him about being alone on Christmas. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll request you on the radio, see? Into a real booming loud like. But I'm sure I heard the gunshot. I remember exactly what Tia was saying when I heard it too. What Let's was press him saying? on that. What did she say? Mr. White, this is these pointless questions. What possible good could knowing what the radio DJ said to us? Indeed, Mr. Von Karma has a point. I'll allow the question only if you see some reason why we should care. We should care. We should care, Your Honor. Of course we should. Why? Uh... Well, how do you know if we don't ask, hmm? Fine, very well. Mr. Butts, please testify to the court. What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? Just when you said, hey, it's almost Christmas, I heard a gunshot. Time of death. Uh, it is like that. Ah, this was taken at 12.15 a.m. By mm. then, it was Christmas. Ah, I see. And this photo was taken when it was almost Christmas. So I think I have to present this. Larry, are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? Huh? What's with the face? You look scary, dude. If you're trying to scare me, you better know I don't scare that easily. <laughs> Is something the matter, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, did you hear what the witness just said? The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas when he heard the gunshot. Indeed. And? Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Whoa! <laughs> People die when they're killed. <laughs> Do you realize what this means? 
when he heard the con shot, it was still Christmas Eve. That would seem to be the case, yes. But he should have heard the gunshot after midnight. Fo this photograph is irrefutable proof of this fact. See what the time was on the photo taken when the gun triggered Miss Hart's camera? 25, 12.15. 15 minutes after midnight on Christmas Day. This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor. Order! Order! What does this mean? The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this witness says he heard a gunshot before midnight. Judge, the answer is simple. The set this the, the current witness is plainly mistaken. Just look at him. Suspicious. What? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. What do you think about Mr. Butts' claim? He heard the gunshot before midnight. Oh, Larry's right. Larry's not mistaken, Your Honor. He heard a, that gunshot before midnight. Ellipsis. Intriguing. <laughs> I'm assuming you have evidence that for this wild claim? Show me evidence that there was a gunshot before midnight. That would be... This second leg photo. Yes. Look at this photograph. Every time it makes me... Okay. <laughs> this was taken by, your, by our witness yesterday, Miss Lotta Hart, with her automatic camera. The timestamp on the photo reads December 24th, 11.50 p.m. Oh? Hmm. But there's nothing on the lake in this picture. Your Honor... The real issue here is not why nothing is shown in this photograph. It's why this photograph exists at all. What do you mean? Your Honor, this photograph was taken by an automatic camera. That camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. Aha! Uh -huh. Correct. There was a loud noise on the lake at 11.50 p.m. That is why this photograph was taken. In other words, when Larry heard the gunshot, it was most definitely still Christmas Eve. Indeed. It would seem that is the case. Then, where does that leave us? Miss Hart testified that she heard the gunshots after midday. Are you claiming she was mistaken? Not at all, Your Honor. It is the fact that the camera also triggered at 15 minutes after midnight. Your Honor? That night, there were two sets of gun gunshots with a 25 minute pause between them. Rabber, rabber, rabber. Why would this be? Not before, Judge. That camera was set to respond to loud noises. Yes? See, there's no proof that a loud noise at 11.50 was a gunshot. Why the witness could have sneezed triggering the camera? Hey, my nose was clear in the air that night, man. Clear! <laughs> mm. Well, Mr. Wright, there's no turning back now. Can you prove that the loud noise at 11.50 was indeed a gunshot? Please show the court evidence if you have any. Oh. Nah. Maybe now is the time we present this? This Maybe. was fired three times, and now we're accounting for three gunshots. This is my evidence. The murder weapon? Something about this pistol was bothering me, Your Honor. Both the witness who testified yesterday heard two gunshots. However, the murder weapon was fired three times. When, when then, was the last shot fired? Only now have I realized the truth. 
The third shot was a shot Larry heard just before midnight. Order! Order! Hmm. That would make sense of the evidence we've seen so far. Gypsies. However, this leaves me wondering exactly what did happen that night on the lake. Exactly! If this is true, that's our two sets of gunshots separated by 25 minutes. One at 11.50, another 50 minutes after midnight. Why, I ask you, why? Uh-oh, better think of something quick. Wait a second. Gunshots separated by 25 minutes. <gasps> What's wrong, Nick? Have it. Have it. Huh? A case with a steel samurai. Huh? Yeah, of course I remember. <laughs> the murder the murderer in that case had the same idea as the murderer in that case. What do you you just said that twice. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. What do you mean? Oh yeah. Yes? If we don't figure this out now. We'll never return after a guilty verdict. I've got a hunch. We're gonna run with it. Right. I mean, is this safe? Safe? We've already gotten a guilty verdict. We have nothing to lose. What? Yes, watch and let me know if I say something that sounds fishy, okay? Right, Nick. Your Honor. Y yes, Mr. Wright. Testimony just now has cleared up this entire case. What do you mean, Mr. Wright? <laughs> so if you finally have realized the truth. There can be no other murderer than Miles that's worth himself. Wrong, Wrong, Von, Wrong Von Karma. What am I doing? A man... Man was shot that night, but it wasn't Edgeworth that did the shooting. Listen, Rookie. Take a deep breath. Consider the facts. At the time of the murder, fun boat was at the lake. Oh, hey, Shojo. Thanks for joining us. Nice to see you again. Uh, this was shown by the witness's photograph. The defendant, Miles Hitchford, the victim, Robert Hammond, were on the boat. Yeah, this has been a rather exhausting trial, to say the least. There was a gunshot fired in that boat, and Robert Hammond fell into the lake. <laughs> the distance of the shooting was one meter. It could not have been a YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> No, just in case we, we... Just for when we put it on YouTube. <laughs> well? The guilty party has to be the other man in the boat. I admit, it is hard to imagine any other possibility. Yes. But that assumes the victim was shot at 15 minutes after midnight. <laughs> Ellipses. What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? We have a photographic evidence. We have photographic evidence at the time of the shooting. The timestamp on the photo says 1215. But Larry heard a gunshot 25 minutes before that. Robert Hammond was killed then. 25 minutes before the shot on the lake. What? It's the only way that Edgeworth could be innocent. Ellipses? Ellipses. Mr. Vite. Are you quite mad? <laughs> Explain who the two men on the boat here. Oh boy. Uh, Edgeworth it's... and the murderer. Yeah. Of course, it was Edgeworth and the murderer. After the murderer killed Robert Hammond at 11.50, he assumed the guise of Mr. Hammond and met Edgeworth. Robert, Robert, Robert. what? What? Are you serious? Yes. Edgeworth wouldn't tell us why he went to the lake that night. However, I have a hunch. That night, Robert Hammond called Edgeworth to the lake. 
Now, Edward did know Robert Hadwin's face that well. That's why he didn't suspect anything when the murderer took Robert Hadwin's place. Ellipsy. I'm not sure what to make of all of this. Neither am I. Not a Chris! Mr. Wright. Tell us the name of the murderer, then. Murderer's name. Right. It's... I don't know. Actually, I don't know the murderer's name. You, you don't know? Ha! I can't you face my time. I don't know, because he never told us. <gasps> Ellipses? With an exclamation point! That, no, is it, that way you know it's serious! The murderer is the caretaker of the boat shop. That old man. I was wrong! Uh, what did you think? I thought it was gonna be Lada or something. At 11.50, he was the one who killed Robert Hammond. The caretaker of the boat shop? Well, where did he do this? There weren't any boats on the lake then. Why would he have to go all the way out of the lake just to shoot someone? May I suggest the real scene of this crime was not on a boat. What? I'm on a boat! Well then, I'm on a boat! Where did the murder take place? This is just where the murder really took place. Right here. Here, of course, the boat shop where he lives. That way he could meet with the victim without anyone seeing. You have proof that the boat shop was the scene of the crime? Recall Larry's testimony, if you will. Hmm. That night he was out on the lake, like, in a boat, searching for something. He finds it and returns the boat. Then, just as he's starting to head home, he hears a gunshot. He heard the gunshot. He heard a gunshot, Your Honor. Even though he was wearing headphones at the time. In other words, the gunshot was very, very close by. And where would that be if he just returned a boat? The boat shop. Mr. Wright, what happened that night on Gord Lake? Please tell the court from the beginning. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, are you sure about this? Not really, but I think uh, if I start at the very beginning, take it slow. I might just be able to figure this out. Oh, boy. That night, caretaker of the boat shop called Robert Hammond to his shop. <laughs> oh, look at <laughs> You didn't see Robert Hammond's face. What I the did. hell? That was around 11.50. That was when the gunshot Larry heard was fired. After that, the caretaker put on Robert Hammond's coat. Uh, yes, uh, it's a little bit big for me, but uh, I'll go and do it. <laughs> he became Robert Hammond. He also ripped off his face and wore it like a mask. <laughs> oh, like a face off. <laughs> Then he got into a boat with Edgeworth and went out into the middle of the lake. Row! Row! Yes. Row, Edgeworth, you little pussy! Yes! All the poppycock! <laughs> <laughs> then, who fired, the, who fired the pistol on the boat, Mr. Wright? The boat ship caretaker. Of course, it was the murderer who shot the pistol. He shot twice, both Miss Edgeworth on purpose. Wait a minute. Yes? Why would he shoot twice if he didn't mean to hit anyone? Details, details. Not this, Mr. White. The moment you run out of explanations is the moment you lose. Can't us fire the murderer had to fire twice? To create, create a, witness. a witness. I believe he shot twice to create a witness, Your Honor. Create a witness? The murderer left his pi lifts his pistol and fires one shot. That ensures that anyone who heard the shot would look at the lake. Indeed, Miss Hart did exactly that, hearing the first gunshot. Next, the murderer waits a bit and fires again. Then... The murderer jumps from the boat himself, <gasps> leaving the pistol in the boat behind him. 
Oopsie. I see. To someone looking from the edge of the lake. It would appear that one of the men on the boat had shot the other. The murderer didn't know about auto the automatic camera, of course. That's why he shot twice to draw attention to the boat. Hmm. Once you realize that, everything else falls into place. The boat shop caretaker swam back to his shop. Then he put Mr. Hammer's wet coat back on the body and threw the body into the lake. That's what happened, Your Honor. These are the events that transpired the n at night on Gord Lake. Ellipses. 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 Bailiff, bring out the witness from before. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, Jed, sir. The boat shop caretaker. Quickly. Yes, yes. Rabba, rabba, rabba. Very well. While we are waiting for the caretaker, I would like to ask the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, a few questions. Mr. Edgeworth, please take the stand. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth. I need to take a sip. A little sippy. <laughs> Those two voices are murder on my throat. Hmm. Ah. You heard what the defense has said? Yes. Well, why did you go to the lake that night? Ellipses. What Wright said is mostly correct. Astonishingly so, actually. Yes. Several <laughs> days ago, I received a letter. Murder on your throat? <laughs> 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 yeah. Good one. High five. The letter was signed Robert Hammond. He asked me to come to the boat shop by the lake at, lake at midnight on Christmas Eve. He said he had something very important to discuss with me. Merry Christmas! I got you murder! <laughs> <laughs> something, something important? Ellipses. I'm sorry. I have to say what I want. Hmm. Uh, your honor, sir? Bailiff, we are conducting a trial here. I ask that you remain quiet. <laughs> Don't tell me he escaped. A uh, funny story. The witness has disappeared. He isn't at the boat shop either. What? What should I do? Find him, quickly. We cannot allow him to get away. There's like a crowd of of cops that go running around like uh in Lupin the Third. Mr. Von Karma, your witness has disappeared. But I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> a search warrant has already been issued. I had one in my back pocket just in case. Hmm. It goes without saying that I cannot clear, declare a verdict under these circumstances. I will extend the trial until tomorrow, the final day allowed. Dawn of the final day. <laughs> <laughs> I request that the police department utilize all its forces to find that witness. Am I understood? Ellipses. One more thing. Just who is that boat shop caretaker? I think his identity has become very important to this trial. I want him, and I want to know who he is. Very well. Court is adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's going to take a while, though. <laughs> oh, boy. That was exciting, though. It was. Yay, Nick, you did it! Yeah. Well, at least we got out from under that guilty verdict. But what about Larry? That was something else. Yeah, he actually did something great for a change. <laughs> Even Von Karma didn't know what to do with his testimony. <laughs> yeah, he was really losing his mind. <laughs> Larry really helped us out. 
sure. Once I sift if through the, his unique testimony. <laughs> Still, he did save us. I just wish our cases weren't so down to the wire all the time. Mm. I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel like it's us on trial instead of our clients. I mean, it has been, like, at least three times already. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hey, Edgeworth. Ellipses. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? Explanation point. Say something. You look so pained. I mean, it looks like you're probably going to get off the hook. You could try to smile just a little. Relax. <laughs> he, tr he tries to smile, but it just doesn't work. <laughs> 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 Ellipses. Sorry, but I fear it's not over for me yet. What do you mean? <laughs> right. I love you. There's something that's been troubling me for a long time now. I don't know whether or not to tell you. But that I've always loved you. <laughs> <laughs> My love. No. So little time left. And only so much of your body I can explore. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you to get it off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe lay it on yours. <laughs> <laughs> Ellipses. <laughs> Can't make up my mind. Ellipses. What is this about, Edgeworth? It's a nightmare I've had. A nightmare of not waking up next to you. <laughs> 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 a memory of a crime that I committed. Is it a crime of passion? A crime you committed? Yes, that one time I stole a toothbrush from a convenience store. At worst, we were eight. <laughs> <laughs> My brief of murder. Oh. Uh, I hope you don't mind us putting in those, those little touches. But again, Edgeworth and Edgeworth and Phoenix are just so gay for each other. It's not even funny. Yes, they are. <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to have to leave it at that, because, God, my voice is going to die. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Von Karma and the boat shop caretaker. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, <laughs> they conspired to destroy my voice box. <laughs> oh. Alright, looking for someone to raid. If anyone has any suggestions, feel free to let us know. Uh, let's see... There's a lot of streams that go on on Wednesdays. Mm. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, da. And, uh, and, uh, it's really hard for me to talk and uh, read things at the same time. Let's see. Uh, here's one that's playing Breath of the Wild. I think I'll read them. It's my favorite game. And uh, there's a new Zelda game that's going to be coming out. The right sequel tomorrow. Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, I'll be picking up, but I can't play it on stream. My, I can't even use a cat card. There's some base compatibility issues. One of the reasons I have to uh, upgrade my PC. But that will take uh, a little bit of time. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's going to Okay, so we're we'll reading a uh, little pogey. Mm hmm. And what okay. are they playing? They're playing Breath of the Wild. I mentioned that. Okay. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream as much as we did. Yeah, make sure when it comes on YouTube to like, comment, and subscribe, and we shall see yeah. you next time. We hope you all have a pleasant day. Our YouTube channel is uh, linked below.
it's it's the same it's the same name as the uh, Twitch channel. So yeah, I have uh, all the other vods uploaded there. So if you want to get caught up on all of it, you can watch it all in a nice little playlist. So uh, the latest episode, we also include a bit of reaction videos. But uh, all right, let, let's get going. I'm, I'm rambly right now. Right on me.